brought your you've brought your brains, right? Put your pencils down because you won't need them. <laughs> Thank you for putting the pencil down and being back. I'm going to challenge you to think a little bit again. Thanks, but I appreciate you being there. I just want you to look at these two words. I have the word refer, like um, I, ha um, I will refer you to a great dentist. So I'll tell you their name, I'll, I'll refer you to them because I think they're really good. And then I have the word sever, like I will sever all ties with that group. It means I'm gonna cut them off, I don't uh, agree with what they're doing, I'm severing my relationship with them, okay? Refer, sever. Look up here, refer and sever. What do you notice either about both of these words or something that maybe one word you notice has that, but the other one doesn't. What do you notice? Make some observations. Refer, sever. You can put your hands down. Just give me a thumb up when you have one observation. You don't need to raise it high, just put it here. You've made one observation, make a second. Give me a second finger. Refer, sever. I will refer you to the dentist, or I'm going to sever all ties with you. Tell me one thing that you noticed. Um, they, both with end, they both end with ER. They do. They both end with ER. Refer, sever. Good. Yes, what do you notice? If you spell refer backwards, say refer backwards, it'll be referred. You're absolutely right. Yes. Um. The F and V both can make the same sound. Refer, sever. Well, our lips do kind of go like that, don't they? Refer, sever. Yeah, that's interesting. Mm. Hmm. I don't know how I'm going to say that, but I'll just say. Similar. <laughs> how about that? We make them in a similar way with our uh, lips. Okay, what else? Refer, sever. Oh, I already talked with you. Yes. Um, I noticed both of them have two E's separated by one letter. Oh, they do. Like the second letter is an E. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Refer, mm -hmm. sever. Interesting. What else? Yes. They're in the exact opposites. What do you mean? Um, um, when you're <coughs> when you're reverting something, that means you like that reverting step. Um, when you're um, when you sever, um, you do you um, do the exact opposite. They are kind of. Off. They are kind of like um, antonyms. <laughs> kind of. But that's interesting. I never thought of that. Yes. Hmm? Yeah. Um, in refer, um, the first E makes a long E sound, and in sever, it makes a short E. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. This is a long E. Refer, sever. Yes. And they both start with consonants. They do. How about this? Refer, sever. Refer, sever. They both have two syllables. They do. They do. Watch me write this with syllables. And when you look at a dictionary, sometimes it's written like this with syllables. They put like a dot in between them. Refer. So there's the two syllables. Sever. Refer. Sever. Anything else you notice about those syllables? <laughs> Refer. Sever. Turn to the person next to you. Build a conversation. What do you notice about those syllables? 
Okay, is that what you were saying? Three reads. Three reads. Three reads. Okay, stop your conversations. Good thinking. A lot of you notice that um, the syllables, this has two letters in it, this has three, then down here this has three, this has two. That's interesting that you notice that. Here's what I want you to listen to, because this is tricky. And this is going to help you as a reader and as a writer, because it will help you to spell words. It will also help you to be flexible if you're reading a word and you're not sure how to say it. You could try it both ways, so it will help you, All right? I want you to tell me, when I say this word, which syllable do I stress? And here's what I mean by stress. A stress syllable is the syllable that is said, uh-oh, this is my mess up. <laughs> I made a better one. A syllable that is said longer, louder, and higher. Oh. Okay? Longer, louder, and it could be a higher pitch, like in my voice. Okay? Put your hands down. Listen. In the word refer, which one do I say longer, louder, higher? Refer. I'm going to refer you to the dentist. Refer. Which one? The first one or the second one? The first syllable or the second syllable? Refer. Show me with your fingers. Refer. Refer. I'm going to refer you to the dentist. Refer. The one I stress, this is tricky, and you'll train your ears to hear it, is this one. Sometimes in dictionaries, they'll make it bolder, the stress syllable, refer. Sometimes they'll put a little apostrophe on it. Refer. Okay, what about in the word sever? I'm going to sever all ties with him. Sever, sever. Which one do I say longer, louder, higher? Sever, sever. You're showing me the first one. You're right, sever. It just so happens that these syllables that are stressed have more letters than the other one. That's not always the case. Like in both of these, the stressed syllable had the three letters and the other one had the two. A lot of times that's the case because it's the one we say longer so it has more letters in it, but it's not always. I don't want you to get confused with that. So I've got refer and I have sever. You heard the stress. I'm gonna show you one thing. I know you've been listening for a while, but give me one more second because this is gonna help you as you study words. Watch me spell the word referred, and then watch me spell the word severed. Mm -hmm. Look up here. Here's how you spell. I referred him to my dentist. Watch me spell severed. Think about the sorts we were doing yesterday. What do you notice? Here's referred, referred, severed, referred, Severed. What do you notice? On severed, there is severe in it. Well, the only reason you see that is because this is an ED ending. 
So without it, you wouldn't see that. But you're thinking, I like that. Yes. I thought you had the double R. I doubled the R, didn't I? In the base word. Before I added ED, referred. What about severed? Um, Did I double? No. Didn't double the R. There's something with the syllable you stress, whether you double or not. And that's what you're going to be studying. Pretty amazing. Pretty complicated. <laughs> if Mrs. Joseph will let me come back in another day this week, I have two other words we're going to look at. We're going to think about this stressed syllable, and then I'm going to show you about adding some endings onto base words. Okay? Thanks for listening. Do you have something to say? So, so you mean like when, like whenever the um, end of that word, the ending syllable is stressed, then you have it, then you have the double consonant. You are brilliant. Say that really loud so that he can hear you way over there. Stand up and say it really loud. All right. Um. What are you noticing? So when you um, when you stress the um last syllable you double that consonant at the end and if it's the first syllable that's stressed mm -hmm. you don't so far that's what we're finding out tomorrow we're going to use um ing on two or the next time i come in here <laughs> ing on two base words and we'll see what we find out okay good theory so far all right thanks guys awesome fantastic <laughs>